take one. Let me talk to you about circular economy. Circular economy is about creating things today that more reflects the way things are developed and created in nature. Currently, we produce things, they're used and then they're disposed. But we live on an earth with limited stuff. So we need to create things that can be used and then reused. The benefit of the circular economy is that we create things that can be reused. The challenges that we have is that we know we need to change to clean renewable energy. We're running out of the fuel that we use to build our society to date. Fortunately, the sun and other renewable sources are abundant and we do have the technology to make use of them. The challenge we have is that the way we make batteries today though, doesn't make most use of that energy storage. 22 million tons of electric vehicle battery waste alone will be produced by 2040, not because they're not usable anymore, but because they weren't designed to be reused or repurposed for other things. So we have to transition to a world where we can produce things, where they can be used for one application and cascaded down and cascaded down to gain as much value from these batteries that will unchain us from fossil fuel as quickly as possible. The journey of the traditional batteries when they're no longer useful is that they're often disposed, sometimes in a really unsafe or harmful manner, or they're sent to be crushed to gain the raw materials. Very often with traditional batteries that are welded together, when they are no longer useful, 80% of their cells are still reusable. Unfortunately, because you've welded them together, the few of them that may not be as good are bounded to the other ones that could be used for other things. This is why a serviceable battery technology is extremely useful. How do we do it? How do we create something that is not glued and welded, but performs just as well? We wanted to put a whole set of individual components together, working as a, a unit, but we didn't want to use any glue. So instead we used compression. And what we used to do that, we used fasteners, screws and bolts. But the idea is we developed a special tray material and tray design that evenly spreads the force so that all the cells are compressed just at the same amount to produce and perform the same way. The beauty of that is that you can easily remove those fastening components and take it apart. So you build it like a sandwich, you could take it apart like a sandwich. Second life cells are simply cells that have been used for other applications. Think the batteries that were used in your remote control that you then take and put into your wall clock. Acceleron gets second life lithium ion cells from things like electric vehicles that are no longer good to be used in the car to renewable energy applications such as solar lamps. We take those used cells and produce another battery pack for another application. The traditional battery industry has been so used to using permanent assembly methods, glues and spot welding to make batteries that they haven't really considered many options as feasible. However, we've demonstrated that we can use compression technology that allows you to quickly assemble a product as well as quickly disassemble a product, making it maintainable, serviceable and upgradable. The Kenya operation is a manifestation of a second life production facility. We take used cells from that market with a team in Kenya. We train them on how to identify the ones that are good. And then we also use our technology with that team to package those used cells that are good into other batteries for other applications. The future of circular economy for energy storage is that batteries will transition from being something that is seen as a product it's used and then disposed to something that is more of a service. It's used by you, it's used by you, it's used by you. It gets as much utilization as possible, which helps us transition to clean energy as quickly as possible.